Hi friends, today's story is called Anansi and His Children. It's a story that's retold by Bonnie Dopkin and illustrated by Mayor Saikia. This is a story from Africa. Do you can you guess who Anansi is? What type of creature he is? A spider. And he has children who are spiders. So let's take a look and see what happens in this story. A Nancy and his children. Far, far away in the land of Ashanti, there once lived a most marvelous creature. His name was Anansi, and he was a spider. Some said Anansi was wise, and after all, he had lived a long time and was great friends with Nayami, the god of all things. Some said Anansi was clever, I mean smart. After all, he could weave marvelous webs and spin magical stories. Oh, look at that web. Some said Anansi was a mischief maker. After all, he loved to play tricks on both enemies and friends and sometimes on his own family. The truth was, Anansi was all of these things. He was wise and he was clever and he was a mischief maker. <laughs> but Anansi was also a father and he had six children whom he loved very much. Each had a name that described a special talent. That means that each could do something that no other could do. The first ch child was called Sea Trouble because that's what he could do. The second child was Road Builder. She could build paths through anything through and do uh, to do anything. The third child was River Drinker. He could drain a river down to the rocky bottom. Wow. The fourth child was Game Skinner. No matter what animal he fought, he won. The fifth child was stone thrower. She could pick up a stone, no matter how large, then throw it far and high. And the sixth child was called Cushion because he was very, very soft. One day, Anansi found a strange glowing orb in the forest. How beautiful, he says. I will give it to one of my children. But who? He thought and he thought. I know, said clever Anansi. I will go far away and my child, my children will think I'm lost. Whoever loves me most will come find me. And that child will receive the orb. That's the orb, guys. So Anansi set off, but before he had gone far, wind came rushing across the plains. He picked Anansi up and spun him through the air with all of his eight legs twirling. Ho, ho, Anansi, said wind. It's time somebody played a trick on you. Uh-oh, I wonder what wind is going to do. Wind took Anansi across the plains and through the forest and over a mountain. Then he dropped Anansi by the side of a river. Goodbye, Anansi, laughed Wind. Have a nice walk home. But Anansi was very dizzy from spinning and twirling, and before he knew it, he tumbled into the river. <gasps> oh, no, said Anansi, rowing with all of his legs, eight legs to get back to the shore. But before he could reach land, a big fish saw him wriggling, swam up and swallowed him. Uh-oh, was that the end of Anansi? I hope not. Back at home, Sea Trouble saw what had happened. Father is in trouble, he cried. We must go and save him. Road Builder hopped into action. She spun a path across the plains, through the forest, over a mountain, and to the river. Hmm. So look what Road Builder could do. Hmm. Now River Drinker went to work, draining the water. Soon the fish was flopping on the rocky bottom. Next, Game, Spitter, Game Skinner split the fish wide open. Out popped a Nancy. My wonderful children.
But before he could hug them with all, any of his eight legs, a falcon swooped down from the sky. Not again, cried Anansi as he was carried into the air. Do you see what happened to him? <gasps> now it was Stone Thrower's turn. She snatched up a heavy stone and threw it with all her might. I hope she gets it. <gasps> the stone hit the bird, who screeched and squawked and dropped a Nancy. Cushion scrambled underneath to protect his father from the fall. Look, there was Cushion. He caught his father. What a happy tangle there was as a Nancy hugged his children with all of his eight legs. But then Anansi realized he had a problem. To whom would he give the orb to? Remember that orb, that shiny orb? He called out to Nayami, the god of all things. Help me, Nayami. Who shall, whom shall I choose? After all, sea trouble saw my danger and called for help. Road builder brought my children to me. River drinker drained the river that hid me. Game Skinner opened the fish that swallowed me. Stone Thrower saved me from the bird's claws, and Cushion caught me when I fell. Hmm. Wise Nayami answered, Then all of your children deserve the treasure. Give the orb to me. I will place it in the sky for all of them to enjoy. And you know what that orb was, guys, right? <laughs> Comes up every morning. Oh, actually, it's not. It's not the sun. It's the moon. And the moon is still there to this very day. <laughs> Gee, I almost thought it was the sun. The end. Better to share with everybody than just one person. Don't you think, guys? I hope you enjoyed the story.